Since the dawn of the beautiful game, goal scoring has been the most sought after attribute in a player. Ultimately, the aim of football is to outscore your opponents, and as such, the most prolific goal scorers of any era are inevitably hot property. All of the players in this seven have averaged a goal a game or better, an incredible record to maintain over a single season, never mind over an entire career. This is a list of the seven most prolific strikers in the history of football. That is to say, the players with the highest goals per game ratios. Entire goals tally is irrelevant here. This list is based entirely on how many goals each player has averaged per game over the course of their career. Another requirement of this list is that it only accounts for players who played in a country's top flight, as there is bound to be someone in the Romanian 7th tier or English Sunday League who has averaged a hat-trick a game, but to include such players would make the list a little ridiculous. Of course, some will argue that the Premier League is stronger than the Portuguese Primera Liga, and there's some truth in that, but all of the players on this list played in the top division, or divisions, and all but one represented their country. To give some perspective of the goal scoring records in this list, Cristiano Ronaldo has a record of a goal every 0.73 games, whilst Lionel Messi has an even more impressive record of a goal every 0.86 games, but neither make the top 7 of all time. As some of these players go back a good few years, unfortunately our image partners Getty have a very limited database on any of them, so the images may be of people with the same first name as the players in question. Here are seven footballers who are more prolific than Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. Jimmy McGrory With a record of 408 goals in 408 games, Jimmy McGrory averaged exactly one goal a game which is the best goals per game ratio of any player in the history of top 5 British football. McGrory spent almost his entire career at Celtic, with the exception of a single season on loan at Clyde Bank, where he scored 13 goals. He is Celtic's all-time top scorer, as well as the top scorer in the history of the Scottish Premiership. Despite standing at only 5 feet and 6 inches tall, McGrory scored a staggering number of headers, earning him the nickname of the human torpedo among the Celtic faithful. McGrory only played seven games for Scotland, but still managed to score six goals. Bernabe Ferreira When Argentine giants River Plate signed Bernabe Ferreira from Tigres in 1932, the centre forward more than doubled the world record transfer fee, and remained as the most expensive player in history for 17 years, the longest anyone has held that title for. He scored 45 goals in 43 games for Tigres, and 187 goals in 185 games for River Plate, giving him an overall average of 1.01 goals per game, although he surprisingly only won four caps for Argentina, failing to score for his country. Franz Binder A one-club man, Franz Binder played for more countries than clubs, as he turned out for both Austria and Germany at international level. He spent his entire 19-year club career at Rapid Vienna, where he won four league titles and was named the division's top scorer on three occasions. He averaged near enough a goal a game for both Austria and Germany, and bettered that at club level. Binder claims to have scored 1,006 goals in 756 games, which would give him an average of a goal every 1.33 matches, but FIFA officially recognises the Austrian as having scored 267 goals in 242 games, giving him an average of 1.1 goals per game. Imre Schlosser Whilst Hungarian greats Frank Puskas and Sandor Coxis just miss out on this top 7, Imre Schlosser does not. The highest scoring player in the history of the Hungarian league to this day, Schlosser is recognised as having scored 417 goals in 320 games, making him the 6th highest scoring player in the history of club football. Schlosser also scored 59 goals in 68 games for Hungary. He won the Hungarian League an astonishing 13 times, where he was the division's top scorer on 7 occasions, as well as Europe's top scorer on 4 occasions. His overall goal scoring average stands at 1.3 goals per game. Joseph Bican With 607 goals in 406 games, Joseph Bican has an average of 1.49 goals per game. He represented Austria, Czechoslovakia and Bohemia and Moravia at international level where he maintained his stunning goal-scoring record. Bican turned out for eight club sides in total, although he played the bulk of his football in his best years at Slavia Prague. In his 217 games for Slavia Prague between 1937 and 1948, he scored an almighty 395 goals, giving him an even more impressive average of 1.82 goals per game. Fernando Peredio 
Often considered the most prolific centre forward of all time, Fernando Peretio scored a grand total of 544 goals in 334 games for Sporting in Portugal, the only team he ever played for, giving him a career average of 1.62 goals per game. In his first season, age 19, Perotio scored 34 goals in 14 games. In his 12 years at Sporting, the club won five league titles, five domestic cups and the first ever Portuguese Super Cup against Benfica. Perotio made 20 appearances for Portugal and netted 14 times. He once scored nine goals in a single game for Sporting, as well as bagging eight in another game, contributing to his outrageous goal average over the course of his career. Born in Angola, Perotio later returned to Portugal to manage the national team, where he gave Eusebio his first start, paving the way for the next great Portuguese goalscorer. Mario Di Castro It's that man again. Subscribers to HITC7s will be familiar with Mario Di Castro, the Brazilian great having cropped up a few times even in the young history of HITC7s. A prolific pre-war goalgetter whose career spanned just five years, De Castro scored a total of 195 goals in 100 games, an average of 1.95 goals per game. It's an extraordinary record and one which will most likely never be beaten. De Castro's career was so brief due to starting late as his mother didn't approve of him playing football and ending very early after an Atletico Mineiro director shot an opposition fan, leading an outraged De Castro to retire at just 26. So that's it for our top 7. There are a few more players more prolific than both Ronaldo and Messi, so if you think you might know one, leave your guesses in the comments section. And if you enjoyed the video, it'd be great if you liked it and subscribed to HITC7s.